Hey, what's up, everybody? We are back. <clears throat> it's been a while. It's been uh, two days, three days or so. And you can see we've won a lot of gems on our defenses. We did lose a ton of money, probably down to zero since it has been a few days. Could take a look at the attack history here. Uh, it roughly only shows the last 20 or so attacks. So you can see most of the gems were actually from these uh, these last few raids here. We got 5, 1, 10. And so a nice little tip to do is always go ahead and try and attack them back. And, you know, beat them up a few times. Try and, you know, anger them and make them upset and make them attack you again. So we're going to go ahead and attack this guy, Alexander 2. And it's interesting, there's no medals over here at all. Or, yeah, no medals. That's, yeah, it's very, very interesting. So they did something to the system. Um, there's no medals over here anymore for him. He is roughly around the same trophy range as I am, so I don't know what's going on here. We will uh, examine further as we go you know, further into this live stream video. But we're going to now figure out our plan of attack. Uh, I'm going to attack him a couple times just to try and piss him off so he'll come back and fight us and give us more gems. So, for defense-wise, he has all Firebolt Towers. So someone else mentioned that we should probably try out the uh, Firestorm. But unfortunately, he has barriers like right next to each other. And I just want to keep my Sonic Blast on right now. Um, we'll attempt the Firestorm in another video against, I believe it's Soren or... I forget who it is uh, that we were attacking several times in the last video. So we're going to go like this with with the Paladins. Because the Cannons are just going to get eaten up alive right in this area. Uh, it's a nice choke point. Tons and tons of defenses. Everything is right here. So the Cannons would just get eaten alive. There's not enough HP. Not enough defense there. We're going to go in like this. Heal spell almost max level 11. Our Sonic Blast is max, and our Blade Storm is one away, I believe, level 6. Our Knights, or Paladins, are maxed out. Our Pyromancers are maxed out, and our Mortars are maxed out as well. So we're going to bring out quite a few Mortars and quite a few Pyromancers here in the beginning. And that should help us go through most of his base. The Mortars are going to take care of the Choke Point over there. We add Pyromancers into the mix. And the reason we have Pyromancers is so that they take out the R Blasters and his mortars. It's good to have a different variety. Also, the Pyromancers, if he has Pyromancers there, um, they'll attack and they're very, very resistant to themselves. So you can see no problem whatsoever with the Bladestorm, Sonic Blast, and heal spell right there. We do have a couple paladins that are working their way through. And now we'll just start spamming nothing but paladins. And so a very, very easy base to get through. And that's probably why we're not getting any medals. But that's a very interesting um, note that they actually took out the medical the medals there so that you don't even see them anymore. That's why it took it took a while to figure out what was going on there because something looked different. And again, they are doing all these pre-update patches, changing things, tweaking things. Um, so we won't really know what the game is going to look like until, I believe, sometime next week. I believe that's when the update should come. Uh, not certain on that, but that looks to be the ETA right now. So once that happens, it's going to be the big major update. And that's going to be the game probably for the next six months to a year. It seems like they've kept the original design for around six, seven months. So I would expect them to change all the stuff, tweak it a little bit here and there, and then keep this next design, this next like phase of the game around six to you know a year. As long as the game, you know, functions well and there's no major problems. Because a lot of things are changing with the story mode added and then who knows whatever else they're adding. They're adding possibly new units, possibly new towers. So it's a big, big update, and we have to just wait and see. So 
So we got thrown into a tournament here, and unfortunately we lost like two hours because there's not that many active players anymore. Uh, so you can see the tournament's been running for two hours already, and we're down here. We're 300 medals behind, but that kind of sucks. You get thrown into a tournament that's already been going for several hours because there's not enough active players to actually fill up these tournaments anymore. Um, so very, very you know, bad situation there. We're going to go back in and attack him again. And like I said, we're going to try and piss him off and see. This time we'll use the Firestorm since there was nothing nothing too hard for us to go through. We didn't have any issues. So we'll take out the Blade Storm and we'll use the Firestorm. It is only level 6, so it will be a little bit weaker. We'll see how this goes. Because this is a strategy we do want to use uh, against one of our higher level opponents and see if this actually gets through his all firebolt tower base. And you're already seeing a pretty big issue there. The uh, barriers are taking a lot more time to go down because it's a firestorm, it's not as strong as the blade storm. So we'll see how it works against the Firebolt Towers over here. But honestly, the Firebolt Towers, we didn't have that much issue with because he put them all together. And so one Sonic Blast wasn't able to take out most of them. We'll see how this is going. It did about half damage on the Firebolt Towers. still very easy to get through the base. Not sure if this raid is going to be more effective than the last one. We'll have to compare times on that. I do know that my Firestorm does need to be leveled up, so that's a big knock on it. Uh, level 6 isn't very high. That may be something that we'll look into actually leveling up after our raids here. Depending on how expensive it is to level that up. Oh, I just had a good thought too. What if there's new spells that are coming out? That would be really cool as well. So now possible new spells introduced to the game. Someone said something about like a, a monster ball, I believe it was, or a party ball. Yeah, so definitely the um, Firestorm cut down the, or made the raid a lot longer. You can see we have 20 seconds left. I know we had a lot more time than this on the other raid. So currently with my current Firestorm level, the uh, Bladestorm is by far better. And that might have to do with the fact that he had a horrible base design where the blade storm can take out all those barriers in like one go. Everything is really, really close together. And then again, our firestorm is a lot lower. So yeah, so we're nowhere near the amount of money we need for a level up. It is going to take 2.2 million. It's not that expensive, so we'll go and try and get some money. Yeah, so it looks like if someone is very, very weak, comparatively speaking, they just take out the metals from the base and they don't even show it anymore. You'll see we are 3580 in the trophies. 
This is, this was the opponent, Arnie twenty two. Once we level up our Firestorm, we'll give this a go with Firestorm as a level six. We'll just not cut it. I really, really don't think so. We can go give it a try right now. We're not gonna lose anything. So we'll go Firestorm here, level six. And see how this works out, as some users suggested. They did suggest swapping out a couple other spells as well, but I don't want to change too many um, variables all together at once. With the Firestorm, we may need to have to actually bring out cannons uh, to help bring out the barricades. You can see we're stuck on these barricades a lot longer than we would like to be. We're going to run out of time with us like sitting and pounding away on those barricades. So we did make a couple mistakes in the beginning. We bring out a lot too many, too many of paladins, um, and they all got mowed down right at the big choke point. One of our pyromancers did make it through over here, which is nice. So I'm gonna sit here and heal him. Come up here and heal the other ones up here as well. His fireball towers are way too strong. The firestorm's not doing enough damage. So it's just way, way too slow. We're all at 30 seconds. We're not even halfway through the base. Again, there's the mistake. The paladins really don't do anything, so we'll go ahead and, and raid here again without paladins. We'll put cannons instead. And we're going to try and summon purely pyromancers mainly, with a few uh, mortars. So we're heading back, we're going to take out the cannon or the paladins, put the cannons in there. We're going to use a lot more pyromancers in our attack since they seem to live and they actually do a good amount of damage to the fireball towers. But the cannon will help us in the beginning get rid of the first uh, first barricade there. So you bring out one cannon and bring out like one or two mortars. You can see we're still pounding away on this for a, a, a good while. Just a little bit too long. So now just lots and lots of pyromancers. And we're still having issue with the, the barricades. Very, very problematic. We're actually taking a lot more fire this time from the troops. And we're probably going to die right there. 
So that was a very big difference. You can see his wave composition came out in a little bit different um, styles. And up at the choke point, I stayed there too long and died. So it seems the Paladins may have actually done uh, a good amount of tanking like they're supposed to. They might have absorbed a lot of the initial fire from the choke point. So we'll have to go give that a go again and see if that was the case or if it was just a lucky. So again, unfortunately, this type of attacking won't be around anymore from what I understand if they're still continuing on with the one attack per several hours, the attack limit. Um, it's going to be very, very different because you're going to be forced to use the random matchmaking system and either search that way and hope that you find the same players that you know how to attack. So we still have to just like wait and see if they are going to implement that um, last that I heard that it was going in, um, but things are always subject to change in an instance, uh, especially <laughs> with them not really, you know, knowing exactly what they really want to do, it seems like. So this time we have a lot more HP. I think we didn't rush as fast up here to the choke points. We're going to call them down here because those guys, now there's a lot of reinforcement uh, wave troops up at that choke point. We want to try and get them away from that as much as possible so they can stay next to the hero and get healed. So bring in a few mortars, hopefully that helps out with the choke point over there. Doing a lot better. This time still looks to be kind of on the uh, low side right now. And the main reason is because of the lack of the blade storm with the barriers. They're just taking so much more damage. So, albeit a good suggestion, uh, I don't think it's going to be a very effective suggestion with the firestorm. Maybe if the firestorm was, you know, two or three levels higher, maybe level seven, level eight, um, it might help. At level 6, it's not really that effective. We only got 39% there. We still didn't lose any trophies. Got a decent amount of medals. So all in all, a little bit of loot. Nothing like we need. Uh, we're going to try and upgrade the Firestorm and see how that works out. And thanks for watching. I'll be back with some more videos shortly. Enjoy the Labor Day weekend.